Hello and welcome to another episode of Orient Update. I'm Township Supervisor Chris Barnett and I'm here to talk to you this episode about all things roads. Orient Township, where living is a vacation. It's going to be a little stressful this summer and we wanted to share some important updates with you, our important residents and stakeholders, so you can be prepared for the summer construction season. Now we understand that no one loves construction, no one likes traffic, uh, but we know that progress is important and it's really important to improve our infrastructure. So while we are super grateful for the investments that the county and the state is making in our infrastructure this summer, we know it's gonna be painful uh, for most of the summer. So wanted to come to you with some really important updates and share with you what we know. Uh, we will continually, as always, update you through our social media channels and our website and our new citizen alert system. And if you haven't signed up for that, we'd love for you to scan the QR code that will pop up on the screen and sign up for our citizen alert system so we can keep you updated with important updates throughout the summer. So we have basically four projects that are happening throughout the summer here in our community. One I'm standing right in front of, this is the Brown, Silverbell, and Giddings near the Orion uh, assembly plant. Uh, we have the Indianwood Culvert Replacement Project. We have the Baldwin and Clarkson Roundabout construction, and then the Walden Project, which our part of the project is basically complete, uh, but we will have a closure at Clinton, Clintonville Road uh, starting on July 8th. So I'll start with that project. So Walden Road between Baldwin and Clintonville Road our border with Independence Township has been in a process of being rebuilt for the last two years actually. Um, some great parts of the project are a safety path, a pedestrian safety path that will get people safely to the Baldwin corridor so they can take family bike rides all the way to the athletic club for the summer pool parties uh, or ice cream down at Menchie's. Uh, so that part, our part of that project is basically complete. Um, there are some finishing touches that will need to happen uh, but the second phase of that project is starting on July 8th, and that will be a full closure of the intersection of Clintonville Road and Walden Road in Independence Township. So the project's actually in Independence Township, but will affect our residents heading east and west using that corridor. Uh, the intersection will be closed for about 60 days, while they will be converting that traditional intersection to another roundabout. We all love roundabouts. And that's the theme here in Orion the last few years are more roundabouts. Thankfully, our residents are doing a great job learning how to navigate them, and they are absolutely working, flowing traffic better and more safely. Less uh, accidents at all the intersections uh, that have been replaced with roundabouts. So that's great news. So Clintonville will be closed starting July 8th. That full intersection closure is about two months. So now we transition to another roundabout, moving a little bit to the west of Clintonville Road, and that's our intersection of Baldwin and Clarkson Road. The long-awaited roundabout that will complete the uh, section of no traffic lights from Brown Road all the way to Oxford on Baldwin Road. Uh, we know that it's needed, we know that it's important, and if you travel that corridor, you know that the traffic starts backing up around 3.30 p.m. every day uh, until after rush hour. Uh, several miles south from that intersection. So we know once that intersection is done, it'll be great. It's gonna be really painful for nine weeks starting on June 10th. So we pushed really hard to have the Road Commission start that project after school is out. Obviously, if you're familiar with the school district, we have an elementary school, Weber, that's right there near that intersection. Um, but we have a lot of people that are asking questions about access to Friendship Park and the local businesses on that corridor. So the good news is uh, there are no good detour routes. The bad news, I guess, is there's no good detour routes because the good news of our community, Orient Township, where living is a vacation, uh, is we have 42 lakes and there are no good roads that go straight all the way through north and south in our community except for Baldwin and Lapeer Road because of all the lakes and parks. So it's a great problem to have. It's a challenging problem to have when you have construction on those major thoroughfares. So there is a good detour route and it's using Indian Wood and other roads, um, but that intersection will be closed for nine weeks starting June 10th after school gets out. It should wrap before school starts again, but we know during the summer it's gonna be a real pain point because it'll force a lot of additional north-south traffic onto Joslin Road and Lapeer Road, which are already extremely busy. 
Once the project's complete, we expect a huge improvement in traffic flow, especially in the evening rush, uh, but we know it'll be painful for a while. Uh, so a couple things to note. The businesses will all be open through construction. You'll have access to those businesses in the plaza at the corner of Baldwin and 24, Dehan Orthodontics, School for the Mind and Body. You'll have full access to all those businesses, including Friendship Park. Uh, both entrances on Baldwin Road and on Clarkson Road will be open throughout the duration of the project. Um, and we are also worked, we worked with the Road Commission to reopen Baldwin Court, the road that used to connect Baldwin to Clarkson Road. Hi guys. <laughs> uh, will be reopened for traffic to get to I-75. So if you live north on Baldwin Road, north of Clarkson, where the park is, you'll be able to take Baldwin Court and you'll be able to head west on, Sa on, on Clarkson Road to get to Sashabal Road and I-75. So it'll be a little, a little different and that road will be a way to get home from work as well. Um, so we anticipate a lot of traffic, hopefully learning that the best way to get north of Friendship Park during construction would be to get off I-75 at Sashabal Road, Sashabal to Clarkson to Baldwin Court and north. So that's that intersection. Again, it's a full roundabout. Uh, it will have landscaping similar to the other roundabouts that we'll put in next year. It'll be beautiful. It'll be painful for nine weeks. The township did agree to pay, in conjunction with the Road Commission, uh, uh, additional funds to make sure that that project gets done in the nine weeks. Uh, and so you might see some evening work and things like that, but it's really important for us to have that intersection open as quick as possible, especially before the school year. Now moving, continuing to the east, uh, that Indian Wood closure that's been the road's basically been closed uh, since early spring. Um, that is replacing a culvert between Indianwood Lake and Lake Orion. That's one of the main ways that the lake, Lake Orion, uh, gets its water through the chain of lakes, and then it ultimately goes to Paint Creek, Clinton River, and uh, Lake St. Clair. But um, that will, that has been closed and will continue to be closed. Uh, right now, they're still relocating utilities, but they will start uh, replacing that culvert uh, in June or early July. Uh, full replacement between the two lakes and that's why that project takes so long and that project is scheduled to close uh, and reopen the road and uh, wrap and I'm sorry and the road reopen sometime in October uh, we are hopeful that it might open sooner but plan for most of the year that road to be closed and most residents in that area have already figured out how to navigate around that area but all these um, projects there's links posted to them on the Road Commission's website uh, and there'll be links on our website as well that you can click to find those detour routes. And then last, I want to talk to you about this project, and this is an exciting project for me to talk about because right behind me is our largest employer, General Motors, the Orient Assembly Plant, soon to be the home of the electric Silverado, the Silverado EV pickup truck and Sierra EV pickup truck. And I had the privilege to tour the facility a few weeks ago, and it is absolutely phenomenal, uh, the infrastructure that's going in here. Uh, but we... Uh, had, this is one of our worst sections of roads getting Silver Bell and Brown Road in the township and has been for several years because of the amount of traffic it receives. Uh, and the Road Commission had slated to do a roughly $1 million overlay project on this road last year. And we thought it was really important, not just because of the GM plant, but all the other infrastructure and businesses that use this corridor to not just surface the road, that, which would last a few years, uh, but to actually do a full rebuild. So we are able to find the funds, uh, thanks in part to a $10 million direct appropriation from the state government, uh, unprecedented, the first ever in the history of our township. Um, Sam Timko and I worked really hard to, to find these dollars, and Congresswoman Slotkin and Senator Peters, and Senator Stabenow and Congresswoman um, McLean have all um, been engaged with us to try to get this infrastructure rebuilt, and it's happening. So we're really excited about it. This project is going to last uh, this entire construction season with some safety path work and some other things happening next year as well. Um, but this road will be completely rebuilt. There'll be a new traffic light installed just behind me here at the Giddings and Silver Bell intersection that will be helpful to people coming and going from this way. Um, our fire star station is off Giddings. The bus transportation uh, headquarters for community schools is there as well. So it'll be much needed traffic improvement uh, and brand new roads. So the key to all of us where living is a vacation is, when you're on vacation, breathe, you relax a little bit. You find books on tape to listen to on your commute home. You uh, maybe make that phone call uh, to your kids that are out of state in my case, or your mom or grandma you haven't talked to in a while. Find creative ways to use this time. We know it's going to add time. We know it is gonna be stressful. 
My personal ask to all the people that call Ori in their home is, we know we have to endure some hardship to get to the finish line. And the good news is, after these roads are rebuilt, all these projects I just referenced, these four big projects, most of our infrastructure will have been upgraded in the last eight to 10 years. Uh, we are really blessed. We've gotten a lot more of our share of road dollars that come through the county and the state uh, than a lot of our counterparts, a lot of our neighbors. So we're grateful for that. Uh, we survived the Lapeer Road project, which was challenging. Baldwin was extremely challenging. We know we can survive this project, these projects this summer. Um, and please consider supporting those local businesses that are most directly impacted on these routes. The businesses off Indian Wood that are uh, west of Lapeer Road are open, and I know I hear from them all the time, they're struggling because they don't get that pass or by traffic. The businesses at Baldwin and Clarkston are going to be struggling. So uh, even consider riding your bikes to those businesses. We have an ice cream shop and Ignite uh, Tavern right up there. So consider um, still visiting those businesses or finding off times to go there uh, because they're gonna need our support as well. So that's the update. As always, we are available to talk, to answer questions. Tons of information will be on our website. Please click the QR code to sign up for our new citizen alert system where we'll be sending out just important information and alerts as things change throughout the summer. That's, a, that's your go-to spot. You don't want to miss being signed up for that. And for that, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Orient Update. We'll see you out on the lake or on the trails this summer.